Hi friends, Tiana here, and I've got a new Kate Nard project I'm super excited to share with you. To help us bring in the Lunar New Year, today we will be creating our own paper drums. Let's get started. What you'll need for this project is paper plates and you'll need two paper plates for this project now i'm using rolls but if you have beads go ahead and grab those popsicle sticks and string you'll need some paint these are the colors that i'll be using today tape and scissors with the help of a grown-up and this is optional, but I have some glitter and gold and a white color pencil. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my paper plates. And for this part, I just need one. I'm gonna grab my string and cut it two pieces. Got my two strings and they're about this long. Almost the same length as the paper plate. Next, I am going to grab my tape and I'm just gonna tape the string into the plate. All right, now that we have these three pieces taped on here, we are going to take our second paper plate and tape those two together. Now you could use glue if you wanted to, but I find that tape is a bit more secure and no pieces go flying off. So I like to start off by taping random spots around and that just helps secure the paper plate on. So I've got a piece at the top. So I'm gonna put one down here in this corner and see how the plate keeps shifting off so this will help it not move around so much all right now that i have those pieces down i'm gonna go ahead and just continue taping around the edges of my paper plates. All right, so now that we have our drums taped, no. All right, now that we have our two paper plates taped together all the way around, got our popsicle stick and we've got our two strings. We're gonna set this to the side really quick. And we're gonna grab our rolls. Now for this part, if you have beads, then you will use the beads and add it to the ends of the strings to help make some noise. Now I don't have any string on hand, so I'm just gonna use the rolls. I'm gonna cut this in half. And I'm gonna use tie it on here so that way it'll help make some noise when I shake it. I'm just gonna cut two pieces about this size. So now that I have them cut, we are going to get ready to paint everything. So I'm just gonna grab my brush grab something to add my paint on. I'm using a paint palette and my red paint. All right, now we're gonna set this to the side to dry. Now we're gonna grab our drum and start adding some red paint to it. And as you're painting, you just wanna be aware of your string. You can paint your string if you want to. That might look nice. But I'm gonna leave my string cold. 
and I'm gonna leave my string plain. So I just wanna make sure it doesn't get stuck to the paint or else the paint kind of acts like a glue. So just be careful. All right, so we've got paint on the front end. Now you're gonna paint the back and then let it dry. So now that our drum is dry, the next thing we're going to do is start adding in those details. So I'm gonna use this white color pencil. You can use any pencil you want or you can freehand it, but I like to use a pencil as a guide and I'm just gonna add in some things. So it is year of the ox. So I think I'm gonna write that in the middle. All right, so I've got 2021 year of the ox. So now what I'm gonna do is grab my white paint and I'm gonna paint right over this. And the reason that I am using this white paint first is that if I go over with this gold, you really won't be able to see it. But if I paint it white first, then go over with the gold, the gold paint will really pop and stand out. So I've got 2021 Year of the Ox here. And then now I'm just going to freehand and add some details around the edges of our drum. All right, and now we let this dry. Now that our white paint has dried, I'm just gonna go over it with the gold paint. Okay, now that we've gotten this painted with gold, I have one extra step that you can do. So this is optional. This is already have pretty much done. <laughs> uh, but if you wanted to, while the paint is still wet, you can add a little bit of glitter on top. So I'm gonna open up my glitter. And first, I'm actually going to grab a piece of paper that's folded and put it underneath. And this way, when I shake off the excess glitter, it'll fall on here and make it easier to pour back into the container. That looks awesome. Now that we've gotten our glitter on here and it looks nice and sparkly, we just need to add these two pieces on. So that way when we shake our drums, they'll hit on here and create that awesome noise. Now we've gotten our two pieces on here and all you need to do is just let your paint dry all the way and you can give it a try. Thank you so much for coming to create art with me today. I would love to see what you have created, so don't forget to tag us on Instagram. See you next time.